Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and uh, today we are going to talk about another plugin which is kind of very useful to be honest I am using it uh, in a few of my applications so this plugin is totally for checking your data connection so there is a plugin called I guess connectivity which is actually useful for if you want to check whether your Wi-Fi is on or not or your mobile data is on or not but uh, there might be few cases when your mobile data is on or your Wi-Fi is on but the internet is actually not working then uh, you want your users to say that you know your internet is not working so what you can do in that case so there is this plugin data connection checker which I am using and uh, this is made by uh, Christian Mitev something like this so I have used this plugin this plugin works pretty well although it is in beta but uh, I haven't seen any issue so far so if you will go to the description of this plugin then you will see that it checks for internet connection by opening a socket to a list of addresses and these addresses are uh, I, um, like by default there are some addresses and uh, if you want to add more addresses then you can add so that's that's a good part um, and, and if you'll see here that how to quick start with it then everything is written here that uh, you have to do this this, this. and then um, once you have the status then uh, uh, so these are the status uh, oh, sorry addresses which you can use so one 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 zero so it's all the standard addresses are there so if you want to change you can change any of them the default port is 53 and if you want to change it then you can change it as well the timeout is 10 seconds that also you can change so it's a great package uh, let's take a look into it so um, this is my gender predictor app which I made last week uh, the video is available in Hindi so if you want to check it out it's a very simple app but um, it, it is kind of useful uh, so to understand the logic behind it so first of all we will go to pubspec.yml and here I'll add this dependency so let's just copy from here and we can add somewhere below this and then just we are good to go so what it will do it will add this dependency uh, via pubspec.yml so it is done now let's try to take a look on the uh, documentation of this so uh, I guess most of the plugins if you will see they already have how to use these plugins so that's not a problem so uh, most of the time you will get uh, these kind of things so as you can see we have uh, this particular stuff here so basically we are already using this stateful widget so that's not a problem at all so we don't we all already have access to the dispose method so first of all I'll what I'll do I'll just override this method and then you can see we have this method where um, we have this connected to internet or not I'm just going to copy this code and I'm gonna name a method here I'm gonna write it check internet okay or and then I can make it asynchronous and then I can paste the code so first of all I need to import that library which is data connection checker and uh, yeah so as you can see we have this uh, print statement saying that the statement this machine is connected to internet is it will check if it, it has connection so this uh, class we can use data connection checker which has this has connection boolean uh, it uh, returns true if we have the status as uh, like it is connected otherwise it returns false and it also retries every time so um, we also get this listener which can help us uh, for listening to events so what I'm going to do here uh, and this is also uh, as you will see close the listener after 30 seconds so that the program does not run forever if you don't want to run it forever so everything is written there you don't have to worry about anything and uh, you can also cancel this listener if uh, you are not using it here or maybe you want to uh, use it somewhere here in the dispose so you can write okay so listener dot cancel okay so 
the problem is that this listener is not uh, this is right now private so we can make it uh, public okay so we can make make a uh, local variable not here let's make a field so we have a field called listener which we are using and we can cancel it something like this and now what I'll do so right now I have the active internet connection but what I'll do I'll disable the internet and then we will see if that works or not so whenever um, so this is the predict gender okay so predict gender is uh, the method which I use when I click on this button so what I'll do when I click on this button uh, what I can do is I can just check if the internet is connected or not and uh, what I want to do I want to return if it is connected one second guys okay so let's delete this piece of code and uh, we can return this probably yes so let's return this so this is the connection status which we can return and uh, let's say it's data connection status and uh, here when I am using this then I can say if now uh, let's say I can say status and I can call check internet here and let's await for it and we can just check if status which is data connection status so if status is equal to data connection status dot connected then only we will do this work okay this is fine otherwise if it is not connected then we can show a dialog let's say and uh, we will pass the context and in the builder in the child we have a lot of things here so in the child we can okay we can just say error dialog alert dialog is there right alert dialog so we have a lot of dialogues you can use any of them which you want child is I guess deprecated so we need to use builder which takes a context if I'm not wrong yeah so we have this alert dialog now and uh, here alert dialog takes a title where we can say no internet no internet okay and then in the content we can say check your connection internet connection okay so uh, let's try to uh, do a hot restart to make it work so this is doing the hot restart now I'll write my name here and we'll see if that works so power and I'll just predict it because right now my internet is working so it is saying gender male probability 0 0.91 now what I'll do I'll just disable my uh, internet now my internet is disabled let's try to predict oh, and you can see no internet check your internet connection so this is one way of doing it now let's say now if my phone is connected to the Wi-Fi if you can see here it is connected to the Wi-Fi and you can see some exclamation mark there and um, but but the internet is not working so that means that exclamation marks means that the internet is not working it, it, do, it does not work like this in iOS they don't they do, don't show anything so um, and some of the Android devices has this feature that if your inter Wi-Fi is not working they switch to mobile data but some of them are, are not so what's the advantage of this plugin is that now if I'll pred, uh, click on this button predict then uh, it will check the status whether it is disconnected or connected and it will show me that no internet check your internet connection even when I am connected to Wi-Fi but the internet is not working so that's not the case with the connectivity package um, if the, your Wi-Fi is on and uh, if even if internet is not working then also it will show you that uh, you are connected so that's the difference
then it has some listener which you can use if it is not connected anyhow then at that time you can send that data to your listener and uh, you can use a stream builder to check whether um, you want to show something else so you can see if I'll just show you the logs that uh, you can see data connection disconnected this is the current status last results so there are a lot of information about it so this is how you can use it it works for Android as well as for iOS so um, I don't think there is a lot of things to talk about for this particular plugin so that's it I mean uh, so thanks guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed it if you did then press the like button subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon to get future updates the code is all available on github already so you can check it out the link is in the description bye bye take care and I'll see you in the next video